Hey everyone, for today's video, we're just going to dive right into my practice routine. So before I start anything, I like to get my whole body warmed up. I am stretching my arms here, as you can see, just getting all my joints loose as this is pretty early in the morning. And I'm uh, loosening my back, stretching my back, and I'm also stretching my upper arm and my shoulders, just getting everything loose and ready to play. And for the next part, you'll see the camera didn't really capture it the best, but I'm stretching my legs and um, I'm just getting both of them because it's really important to have your whole body warmed up and ready to play. Next up, we have my warm-up routine. Feel free to screenshot this and keep it for your records if you want to try my warm-up routine. Um, but here I am starting, and uh, don't forget to tune your instrument. That's what I'm doing right now. The weather's been kind of whack lately, so my violin goes out of tune way more often than it usually does. Now I'm starting with my open string exercise, and what I'm doing is I'm just playing every string starting from G all the way to E, and I'm playing long, even tones, focusing on uh, a nice, even tone, and just warming up my right arm overall. And then next what I do is I kind of double the tempo since I was doing about quarter notes, now I'm doing eighth notes. And then I'll go sixteenth notes and so forth. And sometimes I like to add in some ricochet bowings or other things like that. And now I'm just playing combinations of different strings. Next up is my left hand finger stretches. I start off with my first finger in third position. and I work to form an octave with my first and second finger. Let's watch that again. And then I come back down, and then I move to second position. To first position. First position is the hardest because that is uh, the that is the furthest distance between your first and second finger. Then I move back to third position and do the same thing with my second and third fingers. This is the hardest because my second and third fingers are the closest together on my hand, so therefore it'll be harder to stretch them out. I'm moving to second position, and then I'll also repeat this in first position, although I don't think I'm there yet. And then finally, I will be doing the third and fourth finger to make an octave, also in third position. The goal is to reach first position with all of these octaves, but that is what the stretching is for. Now I will be making tenths with my first and third finger, starting with third position again. And you can work your way down, second and first position. And then once you've done it with your first and third finger, you can move on to your second and fourth finger. Also forming a tenth. These exercises are really great for stretching your left hand fingers. Now I'm shaking my hand to get rid of any tension and I am moving into scales. 
Today, I am going to play a good old fashioned C major scale, starting off with long whole notes, focusing on an even tone and intonation. So then I continue up and down the scale, um, four beats to a bow, two beats to a bow, and then once I get to quarter notes, after that I do two notes per bow, three notes per bow, four notes per bow, six notes per bow, and then eight notes per bow. And then after that I do them all separate bow. For the sake of time, I will be fast forwarding some of these scales. Next up, I move into the arpeggios. There are seven of them in the Carl Flesch system. And then I will move to thirds, sixths, and then octaves. Now, since this is my practice routine, I do mess up quite a bit, but for the purposes of this video, I am not working on slow intonation. Rest assured, I am working on my scales, third, sixth, everything, very slowly in my own time. Uh, just for this video, I'm showing you my routine. After a whole ton of scales, I am finally moving on to the etudes. I usually like to start with reviewing one or two Kreutzer etudes, so today I will be playing Kreutzer number 34. It's really good for left hand articulation.
And now for the fun part of my practice routine, I finally get to move on to my repertoire. I am working on a rodé etude, a don't etude, a Bach partita that I'm trying to memorize, a, a sonata, as well as two concertos. So the rest of it, I will just be showing little clips of me practicing these pieces. Hope you enjoy! If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video helped you in some way or perhaps inspired you to practice. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and a subscribe. See you next week in my next video! Thank you.